Corey Angaroth. I'm the director of the USGS Utah Water Science Center. The U.S. Geological Survey does a couple of things for communities um, that have been affected by uh, wildfire. The post-fire debris flow hazards assessment is probably the, the easiest and most impactful thing that is available through, from the U.S. Geological Survey. And then stream flow gauges and, and precipitation gauges are the other tool that's available to communities to provide some sort of warning should a flash flood event occur. The emergency uh, debris flow assessments are completed at the request of bear teams, uh, the National Weather Service, or uh, some of the state teams. Um, so if, if somebody's interested in that, talk with the, the bear team that's on that fire. Well, what these assessments are going to do is they're going to provide the probability and the potential volume of, de of a debris flow that may occur within a burned area. There was a large uh, stream flow gauging program that was set up in western New Mexico and eastern Arizona after a fire there. Um, and that was really installed to provide uh, early warning to a community that could potentially be impacted by flash flooding uh, resulting from a burned area. The rain gauges are important because they are uh, they provide uh, rainfall information in near real time to the National Weather Service. If a stream flow gauge or a rain gauge were installed, it would likely be around for three to five years until the impacted area has had a chance to revegetate. If folks are interested in a stream gauge or a rain gauge or anything like that, they should contact the U.S. Geological Survey, Utah Water Science Center directly. The, the community would be um, responsible for a portion of the funds and then the USGS has some matching funds that we can bring to the table as well. It's, it's typically done on a 60% paid for by the community and 40% paid for by the USGS.